Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today's another day for mail cards. And today I'd like to make show you how I made this husband one. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Anyway, the shapes from this are from, you nailed, nailed it. And I use this die here, Ooh. and I cut out a load of different coloured card for the shapes. I have got, this is from, oh, Bobble and Fizz, designer series paper. This is the new colour card stock. Um, soft sea spray or seaside spray or whatever it's called got that um, this is one I've done myself with a uh, what are these called one of these I did it in blue and yellow I think I used um, so saffron and balmy blue when I did that. And then this piece here is a bit from Geared Up Garage. They're just scraps of card I had. So I won't need that mask. That's it. No, they're not masks. Um, I need this one. Um, Stencils. God, wouldn't you hate it when your mind goes blank? Right, the sentiment I've done, husband. I heat embossed husband from the new stamp set family party, and I use that word husband. I just put it on the back of a shape. The same shape that will go in between the shapes here and it will sit on like that. I've also cut out an, a screw, a screw head and a nut. So all we've got to do is tell you what card I'm using. I've got a black basic black card, a full sheet cut at four and one eighth, folded in half, a piece from a Petal Palette series paper and I'm going to be using this design and then I've got a piece of white cardstock at three and five eighths by five and three eighths and that will just sit on top and leave me quite a bit of a border to show off the paper. So we need this and I've got this stencil here. If you've got this stamp set um, oh god what's it called? Um, it's an old stamp set from Stamping Up. Um, oh my god. My brain is dead today. I don't know. But this is stamp set. Gorgeous grunge, that's it. If you've got that stamp set, then you could... Um, use that for the background but I haven't got that but I have got the stencil so I'm going to be using that so for, no, we'll use that in a minute let's get our stamping done first so our, my words are not covered up too much so I'm going to stamp to a wonderful and I'm going to stamp it top left 
but it's my bottom right because I've turned it upside down. So I'm going to stamp that down there. Like that. Now I'll turn it round and I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday along the bottom. Like that. I don't seem very long. Hmm. Must be all right. Right. We're going to get a sponge, our balmy blue ink. Our stencil and we're going to stencil off this I need this just to I don't want to do it too hard bit here and a bit where am I down here and then just a little something there. That's all we need. That can get washed afterwards. That can go on the side. And then we get our um, hexagons, if that's what they're called. And we start sticking them on. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm going to stick this one up there. This grey one. There. And the yellow one. Half on them two. And then I'm going to stick this in between the middle. That's it. And then we want some dimensions on this one. Yeah. So, put three on, I think. Just randomly stick these. A screw head, and oh, that screw head is actually the center of this. I um run my piercing tool just right down the middle to make it look like a screw. is the front of our card. 
Don't know why I did anything down there. It didn't poke out. Let's see if I can add something just here. Yeah. That's all right. Right. I'm going to stick this. on my paper once you've got everything cut out they don't take long to put together it did take me a lot longer to do the first ones obviously when I cut the first one out I cut everything out for a second one centerpiece I don't know what I did with the card for the centerpiece sure I said we need two bits never mind just get another piece I'm sure it'll come to me when it's ready and in this one I put time to celebrate which I got out of Itty Bitty Birthdays so we need time to celebrate and with our black ink we will pop that in the middle which isn't very straight That's better. Alright. And glue this in. And there we have it. Quite a nice card for a husband. If I do say so myself. Well, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you soon, which will be tomorrow.